Welcome back you guys to another video with uh, Dre Drives the Boat. Today I'm going to be driving a uh, Volkswagen Tiguan. This thing is pretty sweet. It's like a mom car though, not going to lie. But it's bagged, so it's cool. It's, it's bagged, it's on rotiform wheels. It's it's nice. It's a nice little grocery getter. It kind of kind of makes me want a, a little SUV. It has a, this little four-cylinder car. It's still a Volkswagen, but Volkswagen has come a long ways since the early 2000s or like mid mid early 2000s and uh it's kind of nice looks kind of nice i mean i'm just out here you know messing with her stuff it's weird that way the parking brake is a is a switch now it's not a lever it's not a you know anything like that it's just a little little button that's this weird to me. The thing is, is like I don't know about Volkswagen. I mean, it gets up and goes. It, it, like, don't get me wrong, it does. But I don't understand why they did a four-cylinder instead of like a V6 or shit, even a V8. That would have been really cool. But for what it is, this car is pretty cool. There's obviously a lot of things that I mean, I'm not on a design team by any means, but a lot of things I would love like to see. Like maybe they have you know a different package or whatever. Like, seems kind of cool. Watch me lose my camera. Just hammer it, loses the camera outside. Oh, there's another Tiguan. Not as cool as mine. See what this little force, uh, untouched four cylinder can do. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I don't really know what I was expecting or anything like that. Like an untouched four cylinder is obviously not that obviously not that fast but it's definitely a show car this thing is very unique i've never seen anything like it um i've only seen a handful of tiguans i mean it's kind of like one of those cars that you're like oh yeah i mean you see every day but you don't really like oh my god i need one you know what i mean it's more of like a soccer mom car or like a you know out of the ordinary type car like no one's really like oh my god did you see that tiguan off the, like on the side of the road but my friend Taylor got one, and uh, she bagged it, put it on rotiform wheels, which I really, really enjoy. This thing is, uh, it actually rides pretty nice. i never been in a uh, vehicle that was bagged before. So this, I didn't really know, I didn't, my expectations were pretty low. Um, I've always been in some cheap coilovers, so it is kind of nice to be in something that's not like balancing and throwing me all around, and, you know, a different form of suspension. Uh, I mean, I've installed them. I just never personally rode in one. And so it's actually kind of surprising how nice these these cars ride. You ride, it feels like, honestly, it kind of feels like a uh, like an older BMW, if that makes sense. Like this engine kind of rides like, like smooth, like obviously not like your couch, but you know, you definitely don't know that you're in a Volkswagen. And uh, I've had a couple Volkswagens and I've ridden in a lot, but and so their comfort was never really like sought after or really great i mean it was it was okay but if you've ridden in a volvo or if you've ridden in like a mercedes or something that was designed specifically for comfort and riding and all that stuff then the volkswagen is kind of on the bottom of the toilet pole but they have a lot of cool stuff on here they have like a you know backup camera touch is it touch screen yeah touch screen and uh, it's a pretty cool car. I love, I absolutely love, love the color of the car more than anything. Like it, like it has like that pearlescent like sparkle to it. Oh my God, that thing, that is a beautiful color. Uh, it's kind of cool. I don't, I mean, I'm not much for, I don't know much about the bag, but I kind of want to air out while driving, but I don't really know the repercussions of it. But I understand that these cars come in a front wheel drive and all wheel drive variation. And I think that would be really, really cool to take to the mountain and just kind of have fun. Also, like, it's just one of those cars that, you know, it's an SUV. So you, if you get, you're used to out of it, load the load some people in the back or load some piggies or whatever the hell you're going to be doing. And you can go off-roading. I probably wouldn't recommend it. But, I mean, the fact that you are able to take it off-road and do other things with it is kind of a cool feature. Even though you don't have to, it's just kind of cool to have that option. Oh man, it's hot as the sun out here. I don't know what Oregon's doing, but they 
it is just hot hot all the time hot everywhere I can't wait for uh, 2021 when there's actually shows and a little bit of show season going on because this thing would be sweet I bet you money this thing wins awards because I mean who else is doing a bag tig one or I mean you get some racing seats in here maybe you engine swap it maybe you do what Volkswagen was in my opinion supposed to do because I feel like a V8 would be really really cool in this thing but I guess then you kind of just defeat the purpose of it being like I, I guess I would just take the Tiguan body and I would put like a V8 or I mean obviously like a 2J or something really really like gets up and goes I feel like that would be really cool um, not a bad rig I've definitely never seen one before so that's that's this is pretty cool but if you guys need anything like such as uh, if you guys need anything like as like such as wheels or suspension they don't just do bags as she does like coils bags I'm sure you can get a lift kit maybe I don't know you have to bug her about it but uh, she's a representative and she her pricing is unmatched uh, that's where all my friends go that's where everybody goes the Subaru BRZ that I've that I drove she supplied the wheels for these wheels she supplied the wheels for so it's kind of like a nice little like uh, middleman so you don't have to pay like extreme pricing and you, you know it's kind of nice to help somebody out you know what I mean and uh, I was thinking about bagging my I was thinking about getting in another car and then bagging it and if I was I think I I don't know after this ride I kind of like it I like the bag I like it it's kind of uh, it's a smooth ride it's kind of nice. I mean, you just sit here and you. No, it's. If if you didn't tell me, you said, "Hey, you know, just go for a ride and tell me what suspension's in it." If I didn't hear the compressor, I probably would have never guessed. I probably would have said like a stock suspension. I mean, besides the fact that you know it's low and obviously, but if it was like it looks stock, everything like you just installed the suspension, I probably wouldn't have been able to be like, "Oh yeah, this is you know airbags," or "Oh yeah, this is OEM," or "Oh yeah, this is like coilovers." I mean, it's it's a really smooth ride, and I mean. Uh, I'm gonna take these these couple corners up here at a decent speed. See how they do, because I've uh, everybody always tells me that they're always constantly adjusting as you're going. So yeah, as I'm watching the cor that corners, I'll constantly adjust and change. So I wouldn't I would imagine that would be beneficial when you're taking corners and stuff. So I mean, people probably think I'm like swerving and gonna kill everybody. Except when you hit potholes. You hit a pothole and it's uh, a little aggressive, but hopefully this doesn't turn the, uh, the, you guys can't hear this because I am dying of the heat, so I need to turn the AC on. I'll try to take it away from any of the cameras. Hopefully the camera doesn't pick it up because I am just, I'm, I'm suffocating here. I'm dying. I need it. I definitely need it. surprised by how much space there is I mean you got a second row but it's like you got a lot of room I like how most SUVs you you run a uh, like a bench back seat and then you have this massive trunk or you could run a uh, like the a bench back seat a third row back seat and then you have like a little trunk, obviously sacrifice some space and stuff. But this one, I mean, you have pretty good room. I mean, I'll have to probably jump back there or something, you know, and just give it the old test. But I mean, the seats personally aren't that great. Uh, they just kind of feel, um, I don't know what the word is to describe them, but they just don't feel, I mean, they feel average, you know, just like your average seat, like nothing too crazy, you know. Maybe you find it in most cars, Toyotas, Hondas, whatever. Just like a basic seat. So it's not like squishy. It doesn't really grab me. It doesn't really, nothing too, nothing too crazy there. Um, I do like that it has a touch screen. And I do like that it has the, uh, like I can call somebody. That's pretty cool. Um, get up in. I mean, big car, little engine. This thing's pretty gas efficient. I'd probably, I mean... For what it's used for, I think they did pretty well. I mean, I don't know if I would buy one yet just yet. Like I said, if I would buy one, I'd probably, 
you know, do a whole bunch of stuff to it or do a whole, like, you know, do whatever. Because, I mean, nobody's like, you know, my dream car is a Volkswagen T1. And, you know, it's kind of like you're in the dealership or something. And they're like, hey, you know, this one's for sale. And you're like, oh, you know, and then you're riding it. And it's like, oh, you know, that's pretty comfy. Or, you know, maybe I'll take it. Maybe I won't. But no one, like, at least in my opinion, that I've never met anybody is like, oh, my God, have you seen the new T1? So, I don't know. It's definitely different. I like that. It's unique. The color is unmatched. There's, I don't. That is a beautiful color. I have to get the color cut or something, but that is a nice color. Even if you how much, like how crazy you can get this thing to be. But I like how this thing has like a lot of cubbies. Like you look around, and I'm just trying not to snoop or like be weird about it. But you look around, and there's just like so many cubbies like everywhere. Like there's a whole bunch of hiding spots. A lot of, a lot of cup holders. A lot of little nooks and crannies that you can just hide things in. Turn the door light off. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but you pull the middle seat out and it's cup holders. Nice. It's the little things. It is the little things. Out of here, I got a T1. This thing's cool. Um, I'll put her link in the description, everything in the description. And uh, just message her, see if she can get a better price. Cause I mean, if you go to like, let's just say, I'll just throw this out there. Cause I, that's who I have, I have BC Racing. So if you go to BC Racing and you're like, hey, I want coilovers and they're like, hey, cool, that's a thousand dollars. And then, you know, somebody already orders them through taylor and then you know she has them and then you're like hey i want some coilovers and it's like cool that's like you know 900 or 850. you know you, i mean it's not much but at least you saved a little bit of money so you can have more money for your projects or for whatever you wanted to do which is kind of cool so that's what i always hit her up i'm like oh, I'm, I'm just bugging her i mean the worst she can say is like hey i don't have that or i don't work with that or i don't do that oh that's stupid or you know go after yourself but that's what I always do. I always like message her. I'm like, hey, how much for, you know, airlift for my golf cart? How much it for, you know, this and that? And I, just, I bug her all the time. So she probably gets annoyed at me, but hey, at least I don't want to pay fucking full retail. I mean, I don't know about you, but I like saving some money. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.